Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Blake Damon here with another Sims 4 speed build. Since it's Halloween, I decided to make a Halloween themed build. Ooh. Last year I made a haunted house. This year I'm making a vampire home. Today we'll be building at the Forgotten Hollow on the lot called Widow's Shield Town Home. It's a 30 by 20 residential lot and is a registered vampire lair. We'll be making a small home which is under 100 tiles. This build was a challenge to make to fit a everything under a hundred tiles, especially with the architecture I had in mind, but I think I did pretty well. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. For this build, I didn't limit myself to any of the packs, but I did use a lot of base game and the vampire pack. So even if you don't have all the packs, as long as you have the vampire pack, all the other stuff will be replaceable. My inspiration for this build came from Google, as per usual. I was looking up haunted houses and came across this image. I didn't try to copy the house exactly, but I just got some of the aspects that I like from the image and just use that in my build. For example, I really love the tower and the general shape of the building in this picture. So I took those aspects and, and ran with it. The building in the picture is very light and bright and doesn't feel scary at all. So for my build, I used darker bricks and a heap of black to give it more of a, a somber mood. I also used the windows and the main door from the vampires pack because they looked heavy and helped with the somber mood that I was aiming for. The living room was actually really difficult to plan. Actually, the whole downstairs area was difficult to plan. The end result probably doesn't look like it was very difficult to plan, but trust me, it was. I think the problem was the fireplace. I desperately wanted the fireplace, so I put that in first. And then I had to somehow work the rest of the furniture in somehow, and in a way that I liked. And I'm not the easiest person for myself to please, so that took a while. Anyway, we got there eventually. When I was furnishing and decorating, Decorating, I went with a lot of old things. In my head, I'd imagined that these vampires had lived for centuries and during that time would have collected a heap of things. I know I would. So I went with tapestries that looked like they kind of could have been in the Middle Ages, as well as suits of armor from whenever people wore them and a fancy looking rug that looks worn. I was actually going for that, classy but worn. I think at the end there, I went crazy trying to make this place look worn. There's like ripped wallpaper everywhere and cobwebs wherever I can find an empty spot. I don't know if I got carried away, but I like how it turned out. The kitchen is a pretty simple affair. We got the fridge, the stove, the sink, and the counter, and that's it. It's literally all your sim needs. My sims should actually consider themselves lucky that I actually gave them a place to sit. Thinking about it now, though, this is a vampire home, so I'm not sure this kitchen will ever be used. All that effort for nothing, but I just can't bring myself to build a home without a kitchen. This feels weird. This is my standard toilet and shower with a sink in the kitchen combo. This shouldn't be any surprise to the people who have seen my builds before. But if this is your first time seeing this, welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe. This area was actually a late addition to the build, but I really wanted an underground area where I could stick a coffin. I imagined that these vampires had survived this long because they had kept their vampirism a secret. So I kept everything vampire related behind lockable doors. Altogether, I think I put three coffins in this place, which surprised me because the size of it. It was just gonna be two, but I did add a little mausoleum in the end there. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we go on, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Sims 4 related videos. Now where was I? I made most of the upstairs a study. In my head, vampires are avid readers. Well, at least these ones are. I don't know, I always imagine scholarly vampires for some reason. I don't know why. I have no idea where this image in my head came from, but it's there. Does anyone else have this image in the head of vampires being bookish or is it just me? Or does everyone else believe that they're throwing ripping bloodthirsty overgrown mosquitoes let me know in the comments what you think vampires are like anyway that's the reason why I have piles of books everywhere and because they are scholarly so I've added in like broken vases and artifacts from lost temples and all of that I kind of wanted it to look cluttered and stuffy and musty and I'm not entirely sure if I accomplished that but that was the intention I guess I could turn on the buster dust kit and let the house get a little bit of dust but I honestly 
honestly couldn't be bothered. The bedroom is pretty standard. It's just a single bed with a dresser and a mirror and some clutter. It was pretty easy to plan because I've done this plan like a thousand times before. But if this is your first time seeing this, welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe. This tower room is where I place my second coffin. The bedroom downstairs is actually just a cover for this room. So if a person comes in, the vampires can show them this room and pretend that they're regular humans who sleep in regular beds at night. And that, no, 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 of course they're not throat ripping, bloodthirsty, overgrown mosquito vampires. And now I'm just doing some finishing touches to the house, just to the outside. I added some awnings on some of the windows and lights to the outside and doing my general final checkup of the place to make sure that everything looks okay and nothing's gone horribly wrong because it has happened. I generally don't like fencing an entire house. I feel like it's confining and restrictive and uncomfortable, kind of like you're in jail, depending on the height of the fence. But that's exactly what I wanted for this build. I wanted it to feel like all of those things. So I surrounded this build with a really tall fence. And then I had all this empty space and it's not a secret, but I am terrible at landscaping. So the least amount of space to place plants, the better. And that's where I got the idea to build a little mausoleum. Initially, I wanted to put a little underground area under the mausoleum, but because ladders don't snap diagonally, I hated the way it looked. So I canceled that. I am a tinsy wincy a bit disappointed, but I still like the way it looks. This is obviously where I appropriately add my third and final coffin. After this, I think I just place a whole heap of plants just everywhere. I stuck to red and purple plants for the sake of continuity, and I feel like they're the colors that feel the most vampiric. Of course, I didn't arrange the plants in any orderly way. I don't imagine vampires to have much time for gardening, since it does involve a lot of time out in the sun. I mean, I guess they could garden at night, but I feel like part of the appeal of gardening is spending some time out in the sun and enjoying the flowers in the light, right? And because I don't have time to garden, that's why their garden looks overgrown and not in a nice way. The intention was for the outside to look severely unkempt. And I think I didn't do too badly. Now I won't bore you with uh, more random plant placing, so let's move on to flybys. All in all, I like how my vampire home turned out. It feels dark, it feels creepy, it feels somber, but grand at the same time. My partner actually walked past while I was planning this build and said, that looks like a vampire house. And I was so happy because that's exactly what I was going for. I feel like the inside turned out okay. I feel like I could have cluttered up the place a bit more, but I'm struggling to actually get this video out by Friday. So I didn't really have time to go all out. I actually had to film myself building this twice because the first time, my partner and cats kept interrupting me and it would have taken ages to find and edit out all the dead bits so I just decided to refilm instead it's easier in the end and now I'm a day behind in my editing schedule so I'm hoping I can get this out by Friday if not Saturday is also a good day anyway that's it for me as usual I'll leave a link for you guys to download this build in the description I hope I inspired some of you to build your own vampire homes especially for Halloween check out my Halloween build from last year.